Hey, welcome to another show of East Hillside. I did it again. I said it just two seconds ago. Hillside. Man, am I glad to have you guys here with us today on this Sunday afternoon. Um, it's actually Friday. So I'm excited, kind of excited, a little nervous. I'm going on my very first tent camping trip. So I thought, instead of looking like a, a yokel in front of these guys on Friday night trying to put this tent up backwards, I thought, hmm, maybe I'll do it when I get home. Four hours later, I think I got it figured out. And then I made the mistake of sending the picture to my buddies, thinking, hey, you know what, brothers, they ain't gonna make fun of me. Brothers, come on now. <laughs> yeah, so I might just be sleeping in a sleeping bag on the ground. Hopefully there's no bears there. They have promised me that there's no bears in Turkey Run. But I've heard plenty of stories Plenty of things that's gone wrong with people who've gone camping. Actually, I just read an article the other day about this poor guy who uh, was camping and walking along this trail, and all of a sudden he just fell down this big hill and busted up his left arm and his left leg really bad. But I hear, I hear he's all right now. <laughs> that wasn't funny the first time I told it. I don't know why I keep telling that joke. That joke is hilarious. So what do you call a camper with no nose and no body? Nobody knows. <laughs> one more. Okay, we're going to start the show off with one more, and then we're going to get serious. Take two. What do you do when your kitchen sink is knocking at your door? <laughs> you let it sink in. <laughs> My buddy over here, he's rolling with laughter, just rolling. So anyway, so man, yes, I'm glad to have you here. Um, today's actually Thursday. I'm taping the show for Sunday. So like I said, hopefully next week I'll be able to talk about just some good fellowship I have. I've had with my brothers hanging out in the woods. Um, I'm not very woodsy. I'm not very outdoorsy, but I'm excited about going. You know, we're going to have cookies and lots of cookies. That's the only reason I'm going. No, that's not the only reason I'm going. But one of the reasons I'm going is cookies. So it just got me thinking about you know how, how refreshing it is when we get to hang out with people we care about and love. <laughs> when we're sitting around a campfire, you know, and just, and just putting the world away, you know, just being out in, in the nature and, and just enjoying each other's company and the peace and the quiet. I like to sit out in the backyard. I like to listen to the crickets and the cicadas and, and the leaves rustling. It just, it just, gives me peace where I can just shut out the world for a little bit and and all the all the craziness of the of the day and just enjoy life and sometimes I think we don't allow ourselves that moment in our days to do that I think we just run from job to home to uh, errands to whatever to TV and whatever and never just have time just to take a moment for ourselves and and this week since I'm gonna be gone this weekend my wife and I have tried to we've not actually tried we've done this we've not gone upstairs to watch TV the last few days because it's just we want to be together before I'm gone for the weekend but it just it just made me realize and I always, already always knew it but it just made me realize how much I just love and appreciate that time with my wife you know when we can come together as one and we can talk about the day or we can talk about things that are going on and we can discuss things and and hang out and have dinner together at the table it's just it's amazing i love it i missed it and and it just helps to ref help refresh my soul and it's just crazy when we can do that so i'm excited for this weekend i'm <clears throat> i'm excited to to hang out with a bunch of guys that just are fun loving goofy just just great dudes and uh if you if you guys if you guys out there have people in your life like that don't neglect that time together enjoy each other's company try to just try to make time for each other you know and, and just enjoy what comes out of that moment you know go sit out in the backyard if you need to and just pull up a lawn chair and just sit and listen i mean nature is just beautiful that way god created nature in a wonderful way that he can talk through those moments. He can talk through the trees and the leaves and, and the wind and all that and just and just enjoy a moment of peace because it's just not too much of that in this world anymore. We just see non-stop, you know, it's chaos and, and, and turmoil and 
and just things just keep, you know, seem to just keep not connecting very well and we need to start connecting with each other. You know, when I first stopped drinking 12 years ago, you know, I realized very quickly that I wasn't going to be able to do it alone. Yes, I believed in this higher power. Yes, I believed in God. And yes, I, I trusted that he could help me get through this. But I knew he wasn't going to allow, you know, let me go through it alone. Because he knew that when we have trials and struggles in our lives, that, he, that we need community to help us get through those moments. You know, and when we try to, try to keep it in and we try to, you know, not share it and, and, and just bury it deep down inside, eventually that grave is just gonna start overflowing, you know, and, and, and all that's just gonna start coming out in, in various ways and, and we can easily, so easily, you know, you know, put the brakes on that train so much further down the track than we do when we realize that light at the end of the tunnel is another train approaching. So it's just, when, get yourself some guys or some girls or whoever, just family or whatever, and say, you know what, I wanna make intentional time with each other, and I wanna make intentional time with you, you know, and break bread with you and see how you're doing, and you can see how I'm doing. And it's amazing how you just feel refreshed after that, at that, after that time together. It just seems like the whole day just changes. You know, it's just, it's just refreshing. You know, I've, I've tried to start reading my Bible more first thing in the morning before I do anything else, you know. And uh, I, I like to get to work early and I like to just kind of have that time, you know, and just, and just kind of, you know, be in the moment and, and prepare myself and just enjoy that moment of quietness and, 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 and peace because it's very, like I said, it's very hard to find in this world anymore. And, I just see too many people who are just trying to, you know, pack their lives with so much, so much stuff that that stuff doesn't really give them peace. It just, it, it just gives them anxiety because it's like they just got to keep finding ways to, to find that peace in doing things. And to me, it's just like, you know, you're spinning your wheels in the mud and it, it just, it, you know, eventually the tire is going to wear out. And, and you're going to realize that the tire is worn out and you haven't really gone anywhere. You're still stuck in that rut, you know. So, you know, we just need encouragement. Jesus knew that. That's why he picked 12 guys to be with him day and night. These guys just weren't uh, 9 to 5 guys. They didn't work 9 to 5 and then go home and then come back the next day. They, they walked with him and talked with him intimately for three years, day, night, afternoon. Every moment that Jesus spent <coughs> those three years, they were there. And he knew that. And he knew that companionship and company helps to bring peace in the chaos. And, and I, just, I just love it, you know. There's so many different stories out there of, of, you know, people who have been struggling. And then people have come alongside and walked alongside them. And, 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 and a totally different outcome has come, you know. And they've realized that, you know, one of the, one of the strangest things for me that I, that I see so often is when somebody, especially with addiction or, 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 or some inner turmoil, the first thing they think is, man, I'm the only one going through this. Nobody would understand what I'm going through. Nobody would understand this. You know, I thought that. I thought, nobody can understand what's, what's going on with me. You know, because a lot of times we don't even understand ourselves what's going on. Or sometimes we don't understand how we got to this point. And, 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 but just, I knew that I had to find guys that, that, that had this, were in the same situation I was because then they could not more than just understand, you know, they could, they could know, you know, there's a difference I think between understanding someone's situation and knowing someone's situation. And when we can get around guys and people in our lives that, that know the situation that we're in, that are walking down the same road, I think it just helps bond that, that, uh, that connection even further, you know? <clears throat> I mean, I just imagine the disciples after Jesus ascended and they went their separate ways, you know? What kind of guys did they surround themselves with, you know? You know, Paul, he had Timothy and, you know, just all these guys that he surrounded himself with that he could raise them up and walk in community with. And it was just... I think it just made the testimony that much stronger when we can connect with other people and, and we can 
you know, make those little morsels, you know, bigger and bigger and bigger. It's like throwing a rock in a river, you know. The rock is just a solitary thing. But when the rock is combined with the water, you know, the ripples get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. The ripple doesn't stay, you know, small. The ripple gets bigger and bigger and bigger. And that's because the rock and the water shared a moment together. <clears throat> and so, like, when we do that, you know, when we share a moment with someone who's struggling, you know, that ripple doesn't stay small. It gets bigger and bigger and bigger because, you know, that guy might go out and now encourage another guy because he's been encouraged, you know, because he's had a moment with a guy where he can just shut out the world and say, look, it's me and you time. You know, I, lo I love to say that when people, when I ask people to go out and hang out and go have lunch, I don't say, hey, you know, let's go have lunch. Because that's not what it's about. I always like to say, hey, let's go have some you and me time. Let's, let's focus on you and me for however long and, and not worry about all the other stuff. You know, all the other stuff will play itself out. But for just this moment in time, let's focus on me and you. And it's just, it, it's just crazy because your mindset gets, oh, we're just taking time to break bread and have a meal. But now we're taking time and realizing that it's just, it's deeper than that. It's deeper than just, just eating, you know, and, and, and I've seen it so many times. I've got to hang out with guys. I've got to have guys hang out with me. You know, I have guys that I lean on. I have guys that, are <coughs> that lean on me and it's just, and when we can start putting those pieces together and then we start bringing people in and we start inviting people into these moments that we're sharing with each other, man, I'm telling you, 500 people having peace with each other and having a moment with each other is much more exciting to me than seeing 500 people who are in chaos <coughs> and who are, you know, torn. It's like two magnets trying to hit each other and it's like they're trying to connect but it doesn't connect because the, they're, they're just too polarizing and it's just, it doesn't work. But if you flip the magnet over and you get the positive into the negative situation, the magnet sticks together and it comes together. And it's just crazy how that works. And, and I try to live my life that way. I lived too many years on the negative side, um, too many years on the, oh, woe is me, nobody cares, nobody wants to hang out with me. And sometimes I still struggle with those issues. Sometimes I still struggle with my self-esteem a little bit, but I try to always remember all the people that, that have been placed in my life that were there, you know? And, and it's just crazy when you can take a moment and look back on your life and see all those people that have been placed in your life that have, you know, helped you walk the road. Now, some of those, some of those rocks were bumpy, you know, but some of, some of the road was smooth. I'm pretty sure most of the road was smooth. We all have bumps and, and, and bruises and, and whatever, but, you know, we, sh we were not created to walk this, to walk this world alone. And I love it. At work, I try to be, as goofy as ca I can. I love being goofy. I love telling terrible jokes. I like getting people to smile because my theory is the money's in the laugh, not in the joke, you know? And it's just funny because I'm not really a in front of the people kind of guy. <laughs> He's laughing again. <laughs> He's laughing. But uh, yeah, I, 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 I like to make people laugh. I like to cheer people up. I like to try to be funny. And, and sometimes I think most times I do it, and, and it makes me feel good. You know, it's like it refreshes me just as much as it does, t you know, to see them laugh, you know. And it's just great. My poor wife, you know, she's my joke tester. So she, uh, if, it, if, it, if, it, if, it, if she laughs, I'm good. If she shakes her head, doesn't get at it. <laughs> and trust me, she shakes her head more than she laughs. But, uh, you know, so it's just, it's just great, you know, like my relationship with my wife, it's just amazing. Like I said, the last few days we've been just trying to intentionally unplug the world and just enjoy each other's company. And it, it's, it's fantastic. I go to bed and wake up more refreshed after spending, even if it's just a half hour, you know, just together, just, just, just sitting on a couch. Man, I love it. 
it's just exciting. And I think that gets lost too much in this crazy business, busyness of the world that we just, uh, we set all that aside and cling to the craziness instead of clinging to the peace in the craziness, you know, and it's just great. I just love time of that. I'm excited about this weekend. Uh, they say there are no bears at Turkey Run, but you don't know my luck. I've had some pretty bad luck. <laughs> I've blown myself up three times, literally, three times. Um, I've been just, it's a mess. So my luck, I'm going to go out there and get my tent set up four hours later. And I'm going to get my reclining lawn chair out there and my, and my, my head cap on because, you know, this hair cannot get messed up. I haven't washed my hair in like three months. Can you tell? No, just, just kidding. Just kidding. No. And all of a sudden I'm going to hear, Rawr! I don't even know if that's the sound a bear makes, but that's what I'm going to hear. And these guys are going to be like, are you kidding me? No, hopefully no bears. But they did say there might be a cougar. I don't know what I'd rather deal with, a bear or a cougar. And snakes. Oh my God, am I in the, I feel like I'm in the middle of a Wizard of Oz scene. You know? So anyway, so yeah, it'll be fun. I'm excited. Like I said, I'm not much of an outdoorsy guy. I'd rather stay in a log cabin with a kitchen and, you know, a bed. But we'll see. It'll be fun. And like I said, it'll just be a time where we can get together and get away and and hopefully not talk about the outside world, but just talk about life and, and just just spending time together. I just love it when when I go out and I see people at a coffee shop or I see people at a restaurant and they're just spending time together, you know, and it's just great because, you know, I'd love to be able to hear our, hear all those conversations going on, you know, and and just just seeing life work. You know, life was meant to live to be lived together. You know, and unfortunately, with all the technology going on, we're going to totally end up like Wally. And I'm afraid we're going to. Oh, some of you don't know who Wally is? Oh, you never seen the movie with the robot where everybody's living at home and they order everything on the internet and they just don't move anymore and they don't do anything anymore. And then all of a sudden, the planet just gets so full of trash and junk that they have to go find another planet to go live on. And this, and this Wally guy is a robot and he's been tasked to help clean up the planet. And uh, you know, let's not let's 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 not get there in our lives and our relationships when all of a sudden we just realize and look around and say, "Oh man, what's all this garbage around us?" You know, let's just you know focus on you know putting one foot and forward with each other and walking with each other and and just enjoying life. You know, Wally for me was a great movie because it just it just showed what happens when you don't work on things. When you don't work on friendships, you don't work on marriages, you don't work on family relations, it crumbles. And then it just builds up and builds up until all of a sudden now you just have to, you have to go to a whole different space now. Because of all this junk that's there that you can't even move around anymore. And uh, it's just sad. I just, it's just very sad. And I see sometimes a lot of kids and I see them carrying around these big long chains of of just junk that, that that gets piled on them and piled on them and piled on them and then they uh, just just you know don't know how to carry it anymore and eventually it just breaks down so anyway so yeah so just go out and I hope you guys have a great great weekend this weekend um, think about me pray for me <laughs> um, no it'll be fun it'll be good I don't know why I'm so nervous about it I am nervous but it'll be okay. So if I'm not here next week and you see a rerun, you know what happened. <laughs> no, just kidding. So anyway. So anyway, so you guys have a great, wonderful rest of your week and have a great week next week. Man, it's been hot out there. September, it's hot. Hot in September. I got my snow shovel out already. I'm 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 ready. And it's 90. My neighbors are laughing at me. They're like, why do you got the snow shovel out? I'm like, hey. Never can be too early, right? This is Illinois. It could snow tomorrow. Yeah, that'd be my luck. I'd go there and it'd snow. That'd be all right. Bring my snow shovel. When it snows, people will think I'm a genius. So anyway, so have a great weekend, guys. Have a great week. 
We love you here at Hillside. See you next week, guys. Thanks.